All right, I'm just putting this quick video together as an update to what's been going on with Inferno. Um, and it's been a couple months since I posted a video on it, but uh, some things are already starting to happen here and it's not moving as fast as I would like it to, but uh, we, we are making some progress. So just a quick uh, update on what we've done to uh, Inferno here. Last video we did is she was bone stock. Uh, so we've done a few things now. Um, we've got the, uh, the SSO front bumper installed and um, and we've got a the worn winch installed uh, with the LED light bar factor 55 fair lead we got the D rings on uh, that's a 10,000 pound uh, worn winch and I've got my cover out so you can see what the winch how the winch mounts to the bumper there and what that kind of looks like so there she is and uh, We've also got the uh, full Under Armour installed, uh, RCI, and I took off the uh, TRD uh, skid plate because as cool as it looks, man, it is really a pain in the butt to uh, change oil with that thing. So, took that off, and this one's great because it has a, uh, it's got a little panel right there that you can uh, unscrew with an Allen key to uh, access everything you need to for your oil change. And then you've got uh, holes for the, you know, for the drain plugs. So real easy to do oil changes now on this thing. I've got the uh, A-arm armor as well. This is a full armor kit underneath here, uh, stretching from front to back. So I'm ready for whatever the trail is going to throw at me. I'm not going to damage anything. Uh, I've also got all the lighting done. Uh, so these are uh, Morimoto fog lights. These are about 200 bucks. Um, they are fantastic. Um, they're 1200 lumens, uh, just the, the output of the LED, but then uh, with the focus of the beam uh, in the lens, you get uh, double that, so 2400 lumens. Uh, I, I really am happy with these uh, fog lights. They're fantastic. They were fairly easy to install. You gotta take the whole bumper off to get them in. Um, they're adjustable from underneath. Um, I've also got the, uh, the new lamps. Uh, installed there so we're real bright you can see the ballast here um, but uh, these are real bright I really like them a lot uh, so we're all kind of set on the lighting on the front I've also got the uh, Yoda Tech uh, LED engine compartment light kit installed uh, with a switch that's uh, right there zoom in on that switch there so that just hits the hood. So as soon as you pop the hood, you can kind of see the light going on and off there. There it is. So that, uh, got that installed. Um, there's another shot of it there and you can see the wire. It just kind of comes under the hood blanket, exits right there and then comes down through here. Uh, the other thing I've done is uh, rear diff breather kit, ARB. So that's installed, that's going on, that's feeding my rear diff. Um, I've also gotten all set up and ready for my dual battery setup here. So I've got my tray set up for the uh, secondary battery. Here's the primary battery, the starter battery. Uh, so this involved moving uh, with a pump relocation kit, um, moving the uh, power steering fluid reservoir over this way. And then right here was this air pump here. So you got to do a relocation on, on that air pump. And there's a uh, bracket uh, here that's installed to mount that. And then I'm also going to put a dual ARB air compressor here as well. Um, so things are coming along, not as quickly as I would like, but things are definitely moving. Um, so in addition, from an armor, armor standpoint, we've got the uh, rock sliders on. And uh, love these. I got every, everything has gone to the same powder coaters and having the same powder coating job done. So the SSO front bumper, the sliders, the rear bumper is on order. And uh, these are really good looking sliders. I love them. They just look cool. They're not too showy. Uh, they're kind of subtle. And, um, and then I got the rear bumper right now on order. And that's a Hefty Fabworks aluminum bumper. It should arrive in about three weeks, I'm guessing, from Colorado. It's raw aluminum. And um, it's a dual swing gate. Uh, so it'll have jerry cans on one side spare tire on the other side um, 
and uh, that is gonna go in for powder coating as soon as I receive it. So we'll get that done. And then um, still working on the roof rack. I know which Tapui tent we're gonna get up there. I just gotta figure out the roof rack. Um, that's, that's a tough one because I don't really like any of the roof racks that are out in the market today. Um, I really want something aluminum, but there's nothing out there really offered. Um, Icon suspension. Uh, I got the stage seven lift kit. It's sitting in my, uh, my garage right now in the boxes. I finally received it. I will be installing it and I'm going to be swapping out the tires um, and selling these along with the entire TRD suspension kit uh, in, in favor of the Icon kit. I was going to do it this weekend uh, at a place called Pit Row in Santa Clara, um, but they, uh, they closed down for the weekend because of the heat wave we've been having in California and they said the warehouse temperatures were going to be unsafe. Um, around 120 to 125 degrees yeah, so it was too unsafe to work in there so couldn't do that I had to cancel that for this weekend um, but uh, we're gonna get some some more stuff going here I also have all of the interior lights upgraded here um, so that's all diodynamics LEDs now and that's the puddle lights on the doors that's the vanity everything that's the tailgate everything that's on there interior wise has is, is been done so there's a quick update on uh, Inferno guys